Thanks for watching my video. This is one of my birthday week videos that you're going to see on the Geek Alabama blog this week. One of the most popular features on the Geek Alabama blog ever since I started is a post on how I draw my roads. It's a post where I list a step-by-step -step guide on how I draw my roads from a blank piece of paper to a finished product. A lot of people are impressed when I do my roads. I mean, it's a pretty cool hobby what I do. A lot of people considered this a very unique talent that hardly anyone else can do, and this is what I like to do. So I could turn a blank piece of paper like this, nothing on it, and after some drawing and all my work, I could turn it to something like this, or I could turn it to something like this, or I could turn it to something like this, so on, so on, so on. I got a lot more of these. But a lot of people are pressed on how I draw my roads, and this is going to be a video showing a step-by-step -step guide on how I draw my roads from start to finish, just like on the post. So let's get started, shall we? To get started, you basically need a blank piece of paper, just a regular size piece of paper like you see in a copy mirror machine or what you use to print on stuff from a home printer. Just to get a plain white piece of paper. Then, after I get my piece of paper, I start with a Paper Mate Eraser Mate Pen. This is the ink where you can use an eraser on top to erase the lines you don't like. Some people have asked me why I don't use a pencil instead, but when I have to use a pencil erase thing, it smudges the paper and makes it look ugly. It's just not pretty. So I don't, do not like using a pencil like a lot of other people do. It's just my preference. So after I use the line, I erase the lines that I don't like, I take white out. Just plain old white out. And as you can see, this is the pin kind, so I get just a little dab of white out goes over the lines I don't like. So it's a lot easier to use the brush for white out. It's just, it makes everything so much better. Then, for my yellow lines, before I apply next ink, I apply highlighter. Yellow highlighter as my yellow line. Yeah. You gotta do yellow lines somehow, and I, th I just found highlighter to be the best kind, and it dries over the highlights. Uh, it, the highlighter dries over the whiteout too, so it makes everything so easy. After I you know, draw my yellow lines, I, t I use a Pilot Precise Pen, a very dark pen. Now this writes over the whiteout, it writes over the highlighter. Here's a good trick. I have to apply this after I use the highlighter. Not before, because if I use it before, it's going to smudge the yellow line and make it look very ugly. So I apply all my dark lines after, and I after I do the white out and the highlighter, and I apply, I draw right over the paper mate or pen markers I've already made, so it makes everything permanent. Then I use sharpies. I use a fine point for the white lines of the road. So I'm not using white paper, so I have to use black instead of white paint on the road. You get the idea. So I use this to draw the white lines, and I use this to draw the arrows and reflectors, which are just little dots. Black dots for white reflectors, orange reflectors, or the orange dots on the pit, on the roads. So for orange dots, the yellow reflectors on the road, I use this orange sharpie. It's fine point, it's just quick and easy, simple. Now wherever I put traffic lights on one of my road drawings, I use Red and green Sharpies, the fine point kind. Red means stop, green means go. I often don't use yellow. When I do yellow on a traffic light, like a caution light, I use the highlighter for yellow. Makes it so easy, makes it great, it's perfect. And that's all the equipment I use to draw my roads. So let's get started, shall we? To get started, I'm gonna start drawing the lines. I'll just do some basic lines. I'm making this a freeway interchange or a traffic light in the middle type of interchange. So I just draw a simple line like this. Then I turn this around and I'm going to draw, draw another line so I can make this one lane. <laughs> and I do this all the way. See, I'm in a little mess up there, so I just erase and start again. It's just plain and simple. 
Just let the pen do its work. Don't force it. Just make sure you have enough room to make a lane so the cars won't have to run in the next lane because you don't want to have a wide lane and a narrow lane. So I'm going to create another lane. Let me see that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Just draw out. Take your time. Don't rush this because if you make, if you rush this, you'll have to go back and redo the whole line, and it's gonna you'll be using a lot of white out. It's just not gonna look very pretty. So the first time's a charm when you do this. So there you go. There's two lines now, and I see I'm going to make it a little bigger here because it's a little. It's a little bit narrow, so I'm going to go back. A little bit like that, and that's good. So I'm going to create the rest of my road lines, and I'll take, I'll see you at the next step. As you can see, I've got all my lines drawn on the road, and I'm, I've already whited out some of the lines going across the intersection and everything, because you don't want to have solid white lines going across the middle of an intersection. You don't see it on the roads today. So you see I have a few lines left. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. All you just take the white pen, start, and just start covering. That's it. Let Give it a few seconds to dry and that's it. As you can see up here, I decided to add a third line. So I got to take out the, the line, which this would be the yellow line. This would be the end of the road. This, this would be the left shoulder right here. So I'm going to start taking this out. Just take it slow, don't go so fast. Take it out to about right here, and that's it. That's it. Plain and simple, and now you see my whiteout starting to dry, and the whiteout doesn't take very long to dry. It dries pretty quickly. So the next step is to draw the dashed lines. The, you know, if you're on a multiple lane road, you, you have the dash line so you can start drawing, so you can pass people going to the next lane and everything. So I'm going to start on this side. So this is this, not hard to do this. Just take a little, take a little bit at the end. I take it to about right here. Measure out a good line length. Take a little white out. And like that, that's perfect. So I'm going to start on this side. Get a little line length and right out a little line length. Right out a line length. Go back, do another line length, write it out. You're gonna still on just do this till you get to the end here. And just like that. Perfect. And you see, once the white out will dry, it'll be a nice solid dash, you know, dash line like you see on a freeway or four lane highway, or you get the idea. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, and I'm going to get a sign. I must create a sign to put right here so people know which way to go. And I'll see you in a few. So I got all my white out complete. You see, I draw my line, be a big sign here, a big overhead sign like you see on freeways. So I'm going to assume put shields, words, all that good stuff inside these signs. But first, I'm going to go ahead and draw my yellow line with this highlighter pen. And it's not hard to do. All I got to do is, you don't, you're not going to draw over every line. You're just going to draw over the lines that are supposed to be yellow. And there's not many on a road like this. So you see this ramp coming up. This line right here would be the yellow line, right? So, start right, right there and start drawing. Make sure you get a little bit of everything, and that's it. Now give it a few minutes to dry, because you go over a little Y out here and there to make sure it dries all the way. You see the, the paper mate line fades out a lot. So that, I, that will be remedied by the pilot pen here in a little bit. So here's a line for the side road. Another 
Riverside Road. You got the line, yellow line right here for this main intersection. And you got this line right here. Now you have to be careful. You see the sign. You don't want to draw any lines or anything over these signs because that would make the signs useless pretty much. So I've drawn my yellow line. The next step is to put traffic lights right here because this is a traffic light intersection. So I'm going to draw those in while this highlighter is drawing. And that should take a few minutes. So I'll see you back in a few. As you can see, I've drawn all my signs and all my traffic lights onto the road. And when I do traffic lights, I just do a little rectangle with three circles. It's as simple. And you notice my traffic light designs, I have one, two, three, four facing each way. One, two, three, four facing each way. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six facing one way. I think there needs to be more than two traffic lights at these intersections, in my opinion. Kind of like you see in California, Arizona, Nevada, so on, so on. More traffic lights, the better at an intersection. So, I'm going to color these traffic lights in. So, I've decided to make this road green light and make these roads red light. So, I do this. So I got a green Sharpie. I'm going to color it in. There's a basic color in, and that's it. So make sure you don't go outside the lines you're coloring in these green lights. So I'll, I'll go back and fill in the rest later. So this is how I do a red. Here's a red Sharpie. So I'm just going to fill in these two over here. And there you go. There you go, red lights. Pretty neat, huh? It's pretty neat. Now I'm going to take this thick Sharpie. This is why I use for white lines, because on white paper you can't use white lines. So I put black lines in place of the white lines. So now I'm going to start filling in the lines. Because this little fake eraser line is not going to do very well. So what I do is I draw right in the middle. One more. So I got the dash lines, now I got to put in the side line. There you go. You can see there might be a little edit here and there, but I, that's why I got wide out for. I can go back and get it all straight and everything. So I'm going to fill in the traffic lights and the black line the rest of this, and I'll see you after I do all that. As you can see, I've got all my traffic lights colored in. I've got all my white line, which is a black line on this white paper, colored in. So now I've got to use this pilot pen to start coloring the, permanent, the signs, the yellow line. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to start with the yellow line right here. I'm going to just color it in right in the middle. This is where you have to be careful because one little mistake... And you're going to spend 30 minutes fixing it. Because you have to white it out, redraw it. It's easier just to get it right the first time and not have to go back and do it again. So that's good. I'm going to draw these little three lines there. And since I'm already doing it, I'm going to go ahead and draw the, the edge of the road line. I guess you could say. This would be for the left shoulder. And there you go. See how much better it looks like? You can compare this line to that line. It looks a lot better. It looks a lot darker. You can tell the lines there. So that's how I do it. So it doesn't take very long to draw this line. Again, be careful. There you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
Now I gotta use this pilot pen to color in the rest of these signs and everything, and that's and the traffic lights and get everything permanent inked so you can see it a lot better. Because the racer line doesn't work very well. It's just, it's just a temporary thing until I use a pilot pen to permanently ink everything. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll see you again in a second. I have gone through the road drawing and used that pilot pen just like this to darken up all the lines, so you can see the lines very well now. So we're down to one more step. It's putting the reflectors on the road and the arrows, the road paint arrows. And I used a black fine point and a yellow, I mean not yellow, but orange fine point marker. So for orange, which is the yellow reflector you see in the middle of the road, I just do a little, I'll give you an example. Here's a, that, like a dot, like you see in California, Georgia, Florida, to put dots on the outside of the yellow line. That's what I like to do here. I know I'm in Alabama, but this is the way I like it. Put one on this side. Now, I'll go back and finish the rest. Black, the black, black marker, this is the white reflectors you see on the roads. It has to be black. So I put dots like this, one there, one there, one there, one there. Since I put reflectors along the outside lines too, I'll do put one there, about one there, and about one there. And put the arrows on. And there you go. Now for stop lines, so I'll put the arrow on. So you can, this you can go either straight or left at this intersection. So I put three white reflectors in front of the white lines so people can see the line and everything. And I'll do one on the other side and I'll wrap up this this drawing. One more thing. I'm the kind of person that likes to have the linears on the side of the road. But now I always add this last. So this ramp right here, I'm gonna put the linear. And I always use two circles for a ramp so I will come back and do is I'll use this black marker to put the dots in the middle to be the reflectors now for orange side the left side of the road So there's that. Now I use, I put orange dot in the middle of two circles for the left side of the road. Just like that. And there you go, there's my delineators on the side of the road. So let me, let me wrap up this road drawing for you guys and y'all like what the final product's all about. Well, right, here's my finished road product. I um, have my reflectors, the white paint, which is the black marker, the highlighter as the yellow paint, the traffic lights filled in, the pilot pen to fill in all the traffic signs, all the stuff on the side of the road. This is why, this is how I draw my roads and I'm glad and I'm, I'm thankful for anyone that's watched the whole video to see how I do it from start to finish. So thank you all for watching my video and yes I do have a unique little talent. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.